In this video, we're going to take a look at how to cut constraints in part using the Nexus constraints and collider objects to cut those constraints in half. Okay, here we are in our scene. We've got two objects. We've got a disk and a cube. The disk is our ground plane with a collider tag and the collider tag is a friction set to 55%. The cube is what's going to be our knife, and that also has a collider tag that has no settings in the bounce friction or scatter. And it has a little bit of animation, so it goes down, scrapes across, and then pulls back up. So that's what is going to cut our constraints object in half. Okay, well, let's go. We're going to get a X particles emitter. We're going to do the object tab, and with the object, we're going to change this shape to a sphere and pull that up, and then Everything else here is fine. We can go into the emission tab. We're going to change the emission type to shot. We're going to change the mode from simulate legacy to simulate so that we can see our particles on frame zero. We're going to then change the shot type to regular so we get a regular grid and turn off speed. So zero speed gives us that nice regular grid. We're going to change the radius to six, which will be highly dependent on the type of shot you're looking for, but this one will stick to six. We're going to go to display and we're going to change the display to spheres so that we can see our little spheres in the viewport nicely. And then lastly, we're going to enable constraints and that means we can see our constraints. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus and add a Nexus constraints. And the one we want to use here is the birth constraint. So if we go up a frame, you can see that's created those little yellow lines and those one, each of those lines represents a spring between these particles. Okay, we want some gravity, so let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus, and we'll add an NX Gravity. We don't want the default speed because that's way too strong, so we're going to do something like 150 will be fine. Okay, now if we push play, they're just going to hit the ground and go splat. So we want a bit more control over that. We do that within the constraints, so go to the constraints add 10 iterations for this and then we also want some collisions so add a collision layer and now if we push play our little sphere will be a lot more rigid you can see it's bouncing around now it's a bit more like a soft body and the higher the iterations the more rigid that will become but we want it something like that so it's fairly squishy like so so that's going to bounce around Next thing we want to do is set it up so that these constraints will break at a good point. So we go back to our birth constraint and we have this breaking threshold here with this 50%. What that means is 50% of the distance between each of these particles, the, the constraint can break, which is a bit too strong. So let's drop it down to say 20%. Now if we push play, run our simulation, wait for the knife to come down. Here it comes and it's going to go through, snap those constraints in half and then push half of that object away. So that's a quick and easy look at how we can use constraints and breaking to create some cutting systems inside of Nexus and X particles.